El Salvador, Amazon and regulation, a genuinely good news day for Bitcoin. I'm going to be getting into all the ins and outs of it. Uh, before I do, as always, the spreadsheets updated. These were just the first 26 coins I spoke about on the channel that I thought would crush it in the bull cycle. If you'd invest 100 bucks into each one, you would be up $23,000. Um, Phantom in yellow because I thought it'd be, I said it'd be the best investment of the year when I did the Udemy course, and it was at one point up uh, to 90 cents, which was like 180x. So, uh, but obviously, we're going through a correction. I'm only in a few of these now, the rest have been compounded into cryptos that are going to do better in this bull cycle. I still believe we're in a bull cycle, but let's not delude ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We're in danger zone territory right now. Um, if you're brand new to crypto, check out Copy My Crypto. I talk through what I'm in, why I'm in it, uh, how I'm changing my behavior and my investing pattern during this current downtrend with uh, not only uh, the best returns in mind, but the longevity in mind. And that's what we've got to start thinking about now as well. Um, so check out, link is in the description. Honestly, guys, it's been a really bullish, positive news day. Um, but we can't get away from this potential Death Cross staring at us. It's a terrifying name, Death Cross. But one thing that is true is that it's been Death Crosses when they go when they live to their name, the corrections that come can be 30, 40, 50, 60 percent. They can sometimes be brutal. There are, however, multiple Death Cross fake outs where the cross is momentary before. There's a recovery, and usually the recoveries end up being really rather good as well. But we can't we can't ignore the fact that the market's on a downtrend right now, um, and that's in spite of hugely bullish news that we've heard for a few weeks now. But it's just it's the market's dealing with fud, 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 and also corrections do occur in a normal market cycle. That's healthy. Um, and, you know, I think some of a lot of us have become desensitized to the negative news stories now. And with a long-term perspective in mind, things are okay. Um, crypto is, like, Bitcoin is actually up about 7% right now. Um, and that comes from the fact that this morning, El Salvador officially voted to confirm that Bitcoin is going to be legal tender. It has been passed in law. So you can go into a pub and you can order a pint of beer and they can go, that's 8,000, 9,000 Satoshi or whatever it is, right? That's wonderful. Like stores, the economy, the actual, anywhere that you can purchase anything in El Salvador, they can price in dollar value and Bitcoin value. The equivalent um and it's just the first or there always has to be a first country uh i don't believe this is going to be the last country we see doing this it appears that most of latin american countries are really starting to look into this as a real opportunity to strengthen a dwindling economies um and interestingly a lot of these countries as well have the us dollar as, the, as their actual currency. So we do have to bear in mind that uh, effectively they're hedging against the US dollar, which is weakening day by day, week by week, and it will continue to do so with the sheer billions and trillions that, <laughs> that continuously get printed at the moment. But this is hugely bullish news, hugely bullish news. For it to happen so fast as well, they wanted to be the first out the gates on this, and they've successfully done it. Uh, and it'll be really interesting to see the the statistics and the data on how their country, uh, how the country's economy changes over the next six months. That'll be a very big. That will be very interesting to see, just because it should strengthen. Um, in other news, Amazon, Amazon, like Apple looking for crypto stuff but they've said with DeFi experience amazon 
realize that this is an, an area that they're not, they're, 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 they don't have a monopoly on. So they're now looking to introduce a DeFi experience, potentially, or de any, an element of DeFi into the Amazon ecosystem. Um, and they've got job adverts up. And the job adverts say, the candidate will have a track record of delivering outstanding products at scale in emerging spaces and is passionate about blockchain, distributed systems, and cloud scale software. But, key thing, ideally you will have experience delivering products or innovations in the blockchain space and in particular DeFi or traditional financial services. Very good news. Very, very good news. Um, because again, you're seeing these larger corporations which you don't, we, we are dealing with the fallout of having institutions or corporations playing with the markets, but the more um, adoption that occurs, the better for the crypto space in, in its entirety. Um, so something like this is big news and is positive news. However you feel about stores like Amazon, it's positive news. Uh, next thing the IRS uh, commissioners said that, the, well, they're looking for congressional authority to regulate the crypto market. Now, I am actually fine with regulation. I don't feel that that's a bad thing because that's an acceptance of cryptocurrency. That's not banning it. That's accepting it. And um, fundamentally, that an acceptance of it by a, by a government means adoption fundamentally that's what it boils down to it means adoption that's all we're looking for more adoption um over the coming years will only strengthen the space it will strengthen innovations it will strengthen projects it will strengthen price action on these whole on on a lot of these coins um and what i quite liked as well which we which has come out um is uh Hester Pierce, who is a commissioner at the uh, US Sec Securities and Exchange Commission, has said that they need to not do strict regulation. She is against strict regulation in that she believes it will stifle innovation. And I agree with that. I agree with that. And it's a good sign that, you're st that we're starting to see people um, within within realms of power that are understanding that the innovation of all of of crypto of the space of the blockchain space is a positive thing and stifling it is a bad thing we don't want hu we regulation is a good thing regulation is a good thing but strict regulation could be problematic could be problematic um But yeah, there were that that and what's interesting as well is because Gary Gensler has obviously come out and said, uh, well, has come out and said that the cryptocurrency market needs to be regulated in line with other finance assets. And you can't do it. You can't do it. It's not you can't do that because you can invest in crypto at 24 hours a day. That's one of the beauties of it. Um so the fact that she's gone against him there is a positive. Right, it means there's a dis it means there's a discourse, and that's what we want to see a dis a true discourse about cryptocurrency, not bullheaded um, legislation. We want to see a discourse that will benefit the, the ecosystem. Um, and the U.S. isn't the be all end all, but it's the leader in terms of how markets move. So we have to look at how the U.S. handles things because it's will. It will be indicative of how uh, the markets play out over the course of time and over the future, certainly in the short term. In the long term, I think we've all got the, the solid perspective of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and, and many others doing exceptionally well. Bitcoin, half a million, a million, Ethereum, 20, 30,000. You know, those things, those prices make sense, particularly Bitcoin when you're looking at... Um, the stock to flow model, you know, that that just makes perfect sense. 
Uh, Ethereum, sh you know, should should hit thirty thousand in the long run, but that's based on them delivering on staking in the short term. If they don't deliver on staking properly this year, that will be problematic, and I would see expect to see something like Cardano be a big mover as a result of a failure to launch staking 2.0. But we'll see. We've still got to wait and see how that plays out. Um, one thing I'll say, if you look at the actual 30-minute charts today, it's really bullish. It's really bullish. You know, we're up three grand. We're up about 10% actually from sort of this morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy to see this. This is really positive. Uh, obviously, the daily still looks bleak, but um, but the 30 minutes is starting to look good. Um, four hourly, not so great, but even then, we're seeing a nice little, uh, nice little bit of momentum. Um, but yeah, but yeah, for, fundamentally, the the next 10 days are vital. You know, we we we're, we're looking not even ten days now. I think we're looking at about six days before uh, these converge and cross, unless Bitcoin magically rallies by another six seven grand, which is about twenty percent. If it rallies by twenty percent, then these uh, moving averages shouldn't cross, um, and that would be wonderful because that would be a sign of real bullish a, a switch and bullish momentum, but. Uh, the charts, the charts don't lie at the moment, and we can see the momentum is is not with uh, bullish territory right now. But we're getting bullish news. We're getting bullish news, and that if you're in this space, which anyone that's watching this, you are, if you've got the long term perspective, seeing countries bringing it in as a legal as legal tender is wonderful news. Strengthens adoption, and strengthens the market in the long term. So, uh, me personally, I'm getting myself uh, a lot of stable coins ready for dip buying. I still feel, you know, we could we could dip down to 25, 25 to 20 grand, depending on if they cross and if it holds, if the death cross happens and it holds. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But it's stupidly bullish news stupidly bullish news so very very good i'm excited uh and if you are brand new to crypto check out copy my crypto it's perfect for you you can see what i'm doing why i'm doing it especially in a market that is fairly turbulent right now i'm fairly unpredictable right now um link is in the description anyway that's it from me take care stay safe and i hope you're having a wonderful day Bye bye